Hello, welcome back to the channel. We've got something very different this time. Pop that out of the way. Slice this open. We have got some Japanese PC engine games. If I can get into the box. And please bear with me, I've just literally got back from Latitude this morning. Been to a festival for five days, hence the lack of uploads i've been getting hammered in a field so we have got something by sunsoft and something else and f1 pilot so apparently these do not work now Clearly, they don't look like they want to open very easily. Can't f see any cracks in there. Or in there, can't see it even cracked. That one's got a little dot there, but should be all right. So I'm going to pop the cases to one side, put these here, and we're going to go to the other room. Here we have a Game Freak. I think it's a Game Freak. I can't remember what it's called now. Um, but basically, Retro Freak is the one. But it plays Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, um, PC Engine games, Mega Drive, NES, and Famicom. Super Nintendo and Mega Drive Genesis game, so I'm going to pop that in here. And um, wow, that's recognised, it's installed. Let's play it. Please wait. <coughs> lost the other two cards right hang on i'm an idiot they're there <laughs> okay let's try this cartridge not recognized take it out just wipe them over clear the screen and let's not recognized Shall we attempt to run the game? Yes, let's run it. No. No, that's just crashed it. Okay, so that one's not working. Let's try this one. just black screens so I'm gonna go back to the main screen just gonna try F1 again without falling over so yeah F1 works let's go to the mat and give them a quick clean we're back at the table now the first thing I want to do is just put this out of the way for a minute. I'm going to take the IPA and the contacts. 
then I'm going to get a cotton bud. Give them a good old clean up. It's a bit of dirt come off there. And then let's take them back and try again. Let's start with that one. There we go. Benkai Gaiden. Yeah, we'll install it. Game installed successfully. Play. These are great little machines, by the way, because obviously um, you can install an entire cartridge to the system to make sure that everything's readable. And so all that first one needed was a quick clean up. You'd be amazed to know these are the first PC Engine games I've ever owned. of some description. Graphics are alright for a, an antique machine, but never mind, let's uh, head back to the main menu. Take that one out, and then we'll get what looks like dodgeball, maybe? Volleyball, could be anything, but that one could go in. Oh, still not recognised. Let's attempt to run the game. Yeah, let's run it anyway. So that's the one that black screened. Okay, well, I'm gonna return it home and go back and get the wire brush on this one. Back on the deck. Let's try and just daub some solder on this last one here. It's just nothing to um, stick it to. Oh well, right, well, two work. Fortunately, the two were boxes, and one I made worse. So that's a 66.66 recurring fix rate. I'll take that. Thanks for watching my first crap video since coming back from a festival. Hopefully the next one will be a lot better. Cheers, see you in a bit. Bye. Right, let's prepare for another fail. Yeah, it doesn't even recognise it now. So, yeah, I've made that worse. Because nothing happens at all oh well yeah i'm not sure i can get that open or do anything with those manky i suppose i could try and solder them but hey.
they just, you just keep seeing the green under them. But hey ho, well, let's go and plug it in one last time, see what happens. Okay, so this one is still proving to be a pain, even after a quick clean. I mean, there does look to be some corrosion kicking about there, so. Yeah, the, the copper contacts are knackered. They are quite corroded away. Um, Yep. As you can see, corrosion has loosened those contacts to stupid levels of knackedness. And unfortunately, that means this is going to be dead. So, shall we just open it up and see what's inside here? I'm intrigued. Trying to find a knife or something to try and... Maybe slice it open. Um... It's not going to peel up. No. 